Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kieran. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I hope you guys are doing better than well. I hope there's a couple other adjectives in there that describe you better than well. Maybe great, fantastic, lovely, who knows. You add one of those. I hope you guys are feeling that way. Um, today I'm going to be doing a Twin Flame Tarot reading. This is general for, um, for both parties, okay, masculine and feminine. Um, takes a look at the energies of both people as well as the, um, uh, the headspace, the med, you know, the heart space, kind of what you guys are thinking and feeling about each other. And then, of course, some kind of outcome, right? So this is going to be for the rest of May. Um, I think there's about six, um, I don't know how many days left. Uh, it's 11, 10, something like that. But <clears throat> near future energy, okay? So today's May 20th. Um, unless uh, I'm completely wrong. Could be not. Could be not that day. But I'm pretty sure it is. So <clears throat> under that assumption, guys, let's get started. Um, and take a look, right? So we'll start with the um, masculine energy and we'll take a look and see what is going on with the masculine energy during this time right now energetically and um, what their energy might be like in the near future, okay? So, dear spirit guides and guardian angels, please connect with me during this reading to help the collective through love and light, okay? So what is going on with the masculine energy, right? <clears throat> that is the question. Therefore, we shall have an answer. So let's get a couple cards. We'll see what the masculines are going through right now, <clears throat> energetically. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. So the masculines right now, energetically, probably going through a lot of stuff in their life. Okay, doesn't necessarily have to be bad. It just means that there's a lot of, a lot of energy going on in their in their space. Okay, now being a Wands card does kind of indicate some kind of work related. Um, energy, okay, um, but it could also just be that passionate feeling, things like that. So their life is at a busy pace right now. Their life is quite busy. Um, the crow, barely able to keep up with the horse here um, in, their, in the way that they're traveling, in the direction they're traveling, right? So um, there is this sort of a very hectic kind of almost like trying to get on top of things energy a lot of masculines right now trying to get their things all kind of lined up trying to get their ducks in a row so to speak um, and, and basically trying to, to use the momentum the energy behind them so there is some energy behind them right now um, which is good there there is some sort of forward motion some propelling um, something propelling them forward which is good right um, they're not stagnant so what else is going on with the masculine energy? Well, we have the Nine of Cups. So the masculine's right now heading towards some kind of wish fulfillment, okay? Having that after the Knight of Wands is saying that they're in this energy where they're really trying to, to manifest and get their wishes um, towards them, right? They're trying to create, they're trying to get um, something that they've been working towards, that they've been heading towards this Knight of Wands, that they're passionately heading towards. They're trying to make something come true. They're working on themselves. They're working on their dreams. They're trying to get some kind of focus. What else is going on with the masculine energy right now? The Twin Flame Collective. Okay, we have the um, we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, uh, right here. So this is about needing to make decisions. Okay, Queen of Swords is someone who is confident. Okay, air sign. Um, obviously, female in nature, being a queen, that doesn't necessarily have to be in the human kind of figure, but someone. Um, so heading towards an energy of basically needing to make clear-cut decisions and to me this is very strongly coming out about the masculines needing to cut away making decisions about what to cut away from their life okay how to remove um things from their life right also the queen of swords um it c can be quite uh let's say kind of um uh, kind of harsh, kind of rude. So they may even need to remove some of those fr some of those energies from their life, right? Maybe they're kind of being Queen of Swords in some areas, um, which isn't to say it's good or bad, but um, the Queen of Swords can be kind of harsh, speaks her truth, um, and of course that might come across as kind of uh, bitchy or rude to other people. And so masculines may be going through that kind of energy as well. And then finally, the last card for what the masculines are going through energetically at this time. <clears throat> we have the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So they are working on their finances, trying to ground themselves, um, trying to gain uh, some sort of interdependence, some interdependence, right? We have the Queen of, we have two Queens here, so they could be getting also female help, female energy um, in here, right? So your masculines could be 
getting help from other women, other female presences in their life. It could be a mother, um, but it also could just be female friends, okay? Things like that. People who are like mother figures to them, helping them out, right? Maybe one of them provides um, confidence or decisions, helps them make decisions, helps them with their confidence, the other helps them with finances or keeps them grounded in some kind of sense. But either way, the masculines right now are working towards that, right? Which is a good, um, that's a good energy to have, right? So, <clears throat> moving on, we'll take a look at the feminines now. We'll see where the divine feminines are at and how they are handling everything. So, how are the feminines energetically? Dear spirit guides, what is the feminines going through right now? Okay, we have the Justice card, Major Arcana. Uh, Justice card speaks about balance. Okay, it, is, it speaks about getting something, um, the truth, some kind of universal justice coming in here. Uh, basically giving you guys some kind of um, uh, some kind of answer you guys may be seeking. That's kind of coming in now, right? For the feminines, you guys should expect or maybe are already going through this energy of, of things balancing out in your life. It doesn't mean things are perfect. It just means something inside of you is starting to, it's, instead of going like this so wildly, it's starting to kind of come into its own rhythm and you're starting to find a sense of peace in whatever situation is going on right now justice card <clears throat> does talk about legal matters and things like that so of course could be specific messages out there for people um but generally speaking a sense of balance coming in for a lot of feminines right now um just in the sense that the universe is fair ultimately at the end of the day um because some bad things are really just protecting you from worse things um so an element of gratefulness with this justice card as well um, so there is a sense of balance for you guys, something um, that definitely you guys might be uh, needing at this time. We have a Fool card, so the Justice card brings in balance, and the Fool card talks about, okay, now there's a new energy because of that balance, right? So because of that balance, because of that truth, um, because of what it is that you've needed uh, to keep you kind of even keeled energetically, this Fool card will, will kind of allow you to now propel yourself forward, to take a leap of faith, to... to to, to be energetically uh, aligned even with your masculine here with their nine of cups and nine of wands as the masculine is heading forward energetically so um, is the feminine it seems with this fool card right this adventure this new life begins okay and then we have the six of wands so again victory uh, achievement okay so the feminines right now definitely going through a lot of um or, or will be in this energy of accomplishment having accomplished one of their goals a goal in sight. Just this card, okay, balance is coming in. It's making it easier for the goal that they have in mind to be reached, okay? So the feminines, you can expect energetically to reach some sort of higher position of energy, some higher vibrational energy, love, and light coming into your life to allow you guys to accomplish your goals. And I think energetically, a lot of you guys should expect some kind of um, good news when it comes to the expression of feelings or when it comes to something that you've wanted for quite a while. Six of Wands says, here you go, you've got it, you've won, you just had your victory, okay? And then finally, for the Feminines, we have the Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Five of Wands. This is an energy in the future, I feel, especially having it come after the Six. Um, it could be saying that it's even maybe looped throughout this reading, having it kind of, because uh, it goes Six and then back down to Five, so that, to me, tells me that it might be an underlying issue. Um, but, uh, I, w I would guess from eyes with this, with this intuition here that the five of wands here is saying that there's some conflict, some arguments, some energy, um, some sort of competition in your life at this time. Um, and as an energy, it could mean that you're just going to be struggling or fighting for what you want, for what you know to be yours. Cause the six of wands is reaching a goal. So it's like you reach a goal, um, but there might be some conflict along the way or as a direct result of reaching that goal if we're actually reading it like a linear story okay so but anyway you know any of this energy can be now can be later can be just recently but um you guys could expect some competition some arguments some some things like that uh, when you get into this higher vibrational energy and that's usually because when you ascend the lower vibrational things try to pull you back down it's really no that it's not that big of a deal it kind of makes a lot of sense to be honest um so yeah you guys heading in this direction leap taking leaps of faith feeling new energy coming into your life, um, accomplishment, sense of victory, right? This passion for life again, uh, reaching a goal, especially if any of you have been wanting to be like a writer or anything like that. Six of Wands, definitely go for it. 
um, it's supported and you'll be successful um, with the five of wands competition okay so um, I feel like it's more competition than arguments for you guys I feel like in order to reach your goals you guys are gonna have to put your stuff out there um, really understand that there's other people who may want what you want but it's yours by divine nature okay because you have an advantage over most people on earth and that is awareness okay and that's very powerful all right guys so let me um move these cards up we've got the energy for both you guys um so let's now take a look at the head and heart space so we'll start with the masculines so what is the head space of the masculines how are the masculines thinking about their feminines okay So we have the Four of Wands. This is a twin flame card, guys. So basically what they're thinking about here is marriage, union, being with you, being in that energy of love and light, um, and just basking, you know, uh, in the light of your relationship, um, going on vacations together, trips, um, you know, go, going places that you guys love to be. Um, even if you guys aren't in union, you guys may be thinking, or they may be thinking, I should say, of you. Um, at this time because the energy between you guys is very palpable right now especially at a time on the planet where we're all kind of worried about something um you know that's gonna kill us or something even though it seems like to me it's like somebody's uncle's nephew has corona i've never met anybody that has it but i don't know right but this idea that there's some kind of huge threat going on in the world right now um makes people kind of band together closer okay so there is some positives of weird sticky situation but you're on their mind okay and that's very good so masculine's thinking about the feminines a lot right now um, definitely also uh, talking about creativity okay so the masculines are being very creative at this time and we have a strength card which means that they know the connection takes strength but they do feel stronger because of you and they have a strong connection to you four of wands and the strength so mentally they're very strongly bonded to you at this time they do feel a large um, a lot of strength and passion for you and you probably do ground them in some way in the sense that you manage to temper their wild side you're on top of them uh, you know that's not a sexual innuendo um, but you have this sense of taming the beast okay, of the masculine and they know that and you guys probably know that okay and three of swords okay so this is heartbreak pain um, betrayal, third party situations, stuff like that. Um, so when, when it comes to thinking, thinking, when you have the four of wands and the strength card, and then you have the three of swords, what it tells me anyway is that um, the masculines are worried. It's a mental energy. They're worried about breaking your heart. They're worried about hurting you, okay? And they may be worried about past hurts as well. Every situation is different. This is a general. Um, this situation, some kind of fits me energetically and some of it doesn't, right? And this fits me and some of it doesn't. But um, it is, uh, so it isn't, you know, too specific um, to each and every one of you. It is general. But Three of Swords does talk about some kind of pain. So they might want to be, a, they might be thinking about avoiding the future pain. Um, again, people worry for lots of different reasons. Um, you know, I'm not per personally entirely sure if I would stay where I'm living for the foreseeable future. In Canada, I mean, I don't like the idea of shoveling snow or raking leaves. I feel like if you're shoveling snow in your life, I feel like you've lost something. I feel like you've lost some kind of, uh, un, like, like a scripted contract of like a something, like you just lost. Like you shouldn't be shoveling snow. Nobody should be shoveling snow ever um, in their lives. And, uh, and I don't know why white chocolate exists. So in that order, people, uh, if you're eating white chocolate, and you're shoveling snow as part of your life, um, rethink your life, okay? All right, guys, but no, on a more serious note, Three of Swords could be um, afraid about just things like that, like future elements, but it also could be things about the past, okay? So, and they could also be going through something, of course, as well. They could be in some kind of amount of pain. All right, guys, um, let's move on to the feminine headspace. We'll see what you guys are thinking about your masculine. So how are the feminines thinking about their masculine at this time? Okay, so we have the nine of swords, they have the three of swords. A lot of you guys might be worried at this time, anxious. Um, anxious over your masculine, anxious over different things in your life. You may be just anxious because of the state of the world, but whatever it is, you guys are anxious. You're anxious about them. You're worried about them. You're having sleepless nights about them. Not entirely sure what are you worried about. Well, you're worried about the messages of love. You're worried about the relationship or the communication, right? Page of Cups is a message. It isn't a lot. It isn't a huge amount, but 
you are thinking about the, the offers. You are thinking about offering to them, you are thinking about them offering to you, but what's definitely true is you may be worried about that, worried about the ramifications of such a thing. And then you have the Two of Pentacles, so juggling um, imbalance, uh, but trying to make things work, right? So you could be thinking on their end, well, they are trying to make things work, they're, they're balanced, they're juggling their life right now. Um, maybe they're juggling <clears throat> their life and parts of their life with you, the feminine, um, but it also could be, of course, that you guys are having to juggle the messages or the feelings that you have with the anxious thoughts inside of yourself. You have the mind and you have the heart and you have the two of pentacles. So there's a juggling between the mind and the heart going on right now for a lot of feminines, okay? And that might make sense, especially you might be mirroring some of that three of swords energy with the masculine. Okay, <clears throat> so um, moving on from that, guys, we'll get into the um, uh, we'll get into the heart space, right? Um, we'll take a look. So, how are the masculines feeling about their feminines this time? Okay, we have the two of wands. This is a feeling of partnership and planning. Okay, so they do inside of themselves. They do uh, they do feel this this partnership with you okay they do feel a, 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 a what, what's the fucking word i'm looking for they do f uh, feel a um a bind that's not what i'm looking for they feel some sort of pact with you right this partnership a partnership uh, the feeling of a partnership is complete trust and intimacy on, on all kinds of levels and that goes beyond something like like a boyfriend or girlfriend or, you know, even husband or wife. Um, but the idea of a partner, like Batman and Robin, it's complete trust. And it's about, you know, knowing that you can do uh, anything with each other, okay? And that's a very positive feeling to have. We then have the Page of Wands, so more wand action. Um, lots of uh, fiery kind of emotions, energies, things like that. So lots of passion. Page of Wands is about communication and good news, talk, talking, right? So they probably have told quite a few people about you, but they also feel very good about you. They also feel good when they talk about you. They do, um, you bring them some sort of good news, some kind of love, things like that. They're also feeling like they would love to just uh, talk to you, that they love talking to you, okay? That you're a good conversationalist, that they do enjoy you, that they do enjoy your company. And then we have the Five of Swords, right? Again, more mental energy in the heart space. Um, above, we had the Three of Swords. So the Five of Swords is about conflict and defeat, right? So it's, it's funny, just like up there, you have two good cards and then you have one that's kind of negative. But all that's saying, the Five of Swords in their heart space, is that they're afraid of conflict. Walking away defeat. Now, it's not the Ten of Swords, which is to say that they would sort of think about ending the relationship. The, the Five of Swords sort of suggests that um, while they love you and they love these aspects about you, uh, they also fear the the conflict, right? And they might have, you guys might have had conflict in the past and they don't want to repeat that or they don't want to move forward in that direction, okay? And they might be still lingering with some of that inside of their heart from other areas of their life, okay? And now let's move on to the feminines. Take a look and we'll see how you guys are feeling about your masculines. So how are the feminines feeling about the masculines? Well, you guys are the empress right now, uh, divine feminine energy. The empress is creative, abundant, that kind of mothering energy, um, nurturing, right? So you guys probably have this connection nurtured inside of your heart. You do feel very tender towards them, okay? You do have a sense of compassion for your masculine that probably does not exist outside of them in such a unique, in such a unique way, okay? We have the six of pentacles. The six of pentacles is a gift balance also is a little bit of a balance too you guys did have the justice card in your energy um, but this is a gift right this crow's delivering this fish to these other two crows who probably don't even deserve it um they look like a couple of uh just a couple of like dirty nasty little crows and this is this crow's like you know what here's some fish good luck guys and that's kind of the idea it's just a gift you don't necessarily deserve it but you do see them in your heart space as a gift maybe to you and of course maybe you're also feeling like giving them a gift okay or that they have given you a gift, even if not physically, uh, materially, conversation, just energetically for what they may have brought into your life. And then lastly, you have the judgment card. Okay, and the judgment card is about making decisions. It is about taking stock of your past, 
So I do feel like for many of you feminines, in order to move forward in this connection with your masculine, um, when it comes to your heart space, there is some element of needing to put the past, past relationships where they belong in the past, in the dirt, in the ground, buried, donezo. Okay, there is still some lingering stuff going on, just like with the masculine, they do have some conflict and stuff that they're working with inside of their heart, okay? Some complicated, maybe contradictory feelings inside of the masculine's heart, and same thing in the feminine's kind of in a different way, meaning that the feminines are very committed to this relationship, but they also need to put past hurts, past wounds behind them. Make a decision to move forward. <clears throat> so guys, all that being said, let's take a quick look and see some actions and some outcome of this kind of partnership, okay? So, dear spirit guys, dear guardian angels, again, please help me with this question. What actions will be taken in this relationship? What is the outcome of this divine couple that I am reading for? Okay. So, we have the two of swords. This is about state of being blind, a state of stalemate, not knowing the truth. Okay, so there is a blindfold on right now for many of you. <clears throat> okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles does speak about um, a monetary, yes. Um, so it would say that you guys would be more on a solid footing. Okay. that the relationship goes from this place of kind of feeling like there's questions that need to be answered and things that you guys maybe both of you aren't seeing correctly or for instance even if it's just a shared vision about where you guys are headed in the future um, that's gonna make way to the seven of Pentacles it's sort of saying like okay those fears are in your head you don't see things properly but the relationship's going to take a more grounded uh, a more solid effort okay the seven of Pentacles is like an individual who has worked hard so far and he has things that he's gained from his hard work he's not completely all the way there victory or that ten of pentacles isn't in sight but he does have a lot or he's earned quite a bit to feel comfortable okay now he hasn't given up work the eight of pentacles hard work still ahead of him he still has to be diligent and disciplined but he can take a break and look back okay so this is going to be a time where your relationship starts to be more grounded starts to feel a little bit more normal um, and that you two will both feel like it's becoming more of a real stable connection as time goes on. Look at that, we have the King of Pentacles, and so this is saying definitely your masculine coming in as a king, um, independent resources, his success, right, financially. But as a couple, as a relationship, it's saying your guys, as, as a couple, your relationship's gonna be very, very grounded, very secure, okay? Not only monetarily, but energetically and in a physical way as well. Okay, and then just getting one last card, we have the queen. So we have the king and queen, we have the court card. This is the, of course, the feminines here, the entrepreneur, uh, the person who is very creative, very free, energetic, follows the intuition, um, fiery with that passionate energy, and someone who does love nature, animals, things like that. But the career, um, the, the woman who has, who's made time for her career, who has followed her dreams, and goes after those things with passion and vigor, right? And the King of Pentacles, somebody who's grounded individual, who has taken methodical steps and gotten everything that he needed and is now powerful living in comfort. And in that power, there's a sense of inner um, independence and strength and courage, okay? So you guys coming together as this perfect court couple to end any concerns that are here at the start, okay? So that's a very good reading, I think, guys. Hopefully you guys agree. Um, and that was probably, I think, a good place to end. Um, yeah, very good place to end. Okay, guys, so anyway, uh, I hope you guys do enjoy the rest.